Right, what I'm doing now, near the end of the season, the grown season, uh, I'll get a mixture of different uh, chilies. These are obviously jalapeno, these are a small red chili. That's obviously a bottom of YouTube capsicum. Sorry, I can help that. Pepper. These are bullhorn capsicum or peppers. So I'm going to chop them all up and uh, make like a mixture. You could use it in all sorts of dishes from salsas right through to adding it to your lasagnas, and you name it. But the beauty of having them all mixed is that I just take a portion and put it into the pan when I'm ready to cook. So I'll take all the stems off and start cutting these up. Okay, that's all the tops taken off. Some you just pull off, but some you have to cut off. These are the bull horns. Now I'm gonna process these first because what I want to do is I want to save the seeds from inside of these. I've done that every year with these. So I'll do those first and then I'll chop them up and then I'll start on these uh, other hot peppers. Right, I've just done one um, and I'll, I'll show you how I did that in a second, but I've just taken the core out and that's the amount of seeds, probably 150 seeds out of one. I'll quickly try and show you what I do here. I just cut around the top and you'll see a little core of seeds will come out. Okay, and you'll see a few little seeds in the bottom. Just tap the paper like that. And with these, you'll see how easy they come off. Now you can dry these on the plant. That's probably the best way to take the seeds out, but you can just do what I'm doing here. If you want to process them this way, uh, I mostly leave a lot of my chilies on the plant to dry and then take the seeds out of them. But you can see how easily they come off the core. Okay, so that's one way of saving your seeds. And now I'll cut up the uh, peppers quickly. That's all the seeds that I've saved just from those three peppers. Probably about 300 seeds. So I'm gonna let these air dry, move them around every couple of days, make sure they don't stick. And after about two to three weeks, uh, they'll be dry enough to package up. Okay, and another thing with those uh, seeds, in a cool, dark place, but with air. In other words, maybe in the corner of the kitchen where it doesn't get direct sunlight. All right, I'm gonna start cutting up the peppers. I don't cut them really thin because when you start cooking with uh, chili or peppers, they start to, well, dissolve sometimes. But uh, I won't bore with you, bore you to death by cutting these all up in front of you. I'm just showing you how thick I make them when I do cut them. We'll come back when I've started all the others. That's all there bullhorn pepper cut up. I'll just put them in this bowl. We'll see why in a second because when I start cutting up the chili uh, there'll be loads of seeds and I want to separate most of the seeds, not all of them, uh, and um, that will allow me to put this through a sieve as you'll start seeing a load of chili seeds coming out. So all I'm doing now is again about a quarter inch, a bit the same as the uh, peppers that I was doing with these now these hot peppers and I shall just finish this one grab some of these smaller peppers these have quite a lot of seeds in them probably cut them a little bit smaller this is probably the hottest out of all the peppers going into this little mix so I will just finish off the rest of them and I'll shake out a lot of the seeds in the colander I'll show you the finished product. All right, they're all done, and you can probably see there's a heap of seeds in these, which is okay. You can just leave them in there if you want to. I like to take most of them out if I can. Still leaves a lot in there. And how I'm going to do is I'm going to put those cut rounds with the colander, and I'm going to shake the colander until most of the seeds come out. So I'll show you what it looks like when I'm okay. finished. I've shaken them, and a lot of the seeds went into the bowl. You can save those if you want it. They're a mixed group of chili seeds in there. There's no problem saving them if you want to. And this is what they look like when they've been shaken and stirred, if you like. Again, there's still seeds in some of them. It's, it's not a problem. Uh, most of the heat in a chili comes from the seed anyway. But um, I'm gonna put those and I'll mix the peppers through them. What I'm going to do is put them in this 
bag, a Ziploc bag, you just tie it up and I'll put a date on it and I'll put it in the freezer. But I'll just show you uh, the method of uh, after I put them in the freezer. You take them out after about, oh, I think an hour out of the freezer when you first put them in, shake the bag, that just separates them a little bit. And then maybe three or four hours later do the same thing. And then you're going to have uh, a mixture of uh, mild pepper, hot pepper, to add to anything that you like to as far as making dishes up. Even just the salsa, it's entirely up to you. Thought I'd just show you that's near the end of the season for us. We're looking at uh, autumn or fall, as you call it, coming in only a few weeks. It'll be here. So um, near the end of the growing season for lots of the peppers. And even though I've been picking them all season, and I've made, uh, and I'll show you at the end, some sauces and bits and pieces with the produce I have got. This allows me, it may seem like a lot, but that's probably oh, three different meals, or maybe four, that I can pull some of this out of the freezer and put into any dish I'd like to make. So I hope that's been helpful. Uh, I don't blanch these, these go straight into the freezer. If I was gonna blanch them, it would be, I wanted to keep them for about a year, but this might just be uh, a couple of months. So if you have been, thank you for watching.